Hello, I'm Daily Fix and welcome to the second part of our X4 playthrough. We're going to get started with um, continuing our goal and it is to get the Bosatar station effectively. Now, we've landed at the goal that Bosh has sent us where we have to pick something up. What we will also do is tell our elite Vanguard to dock and wait over here. Now, fortunately for us, um, it is not a very difficult flight and I'm actually expecting is once we are ready that he is as well. What we will do is we will get up. We will go down here Autopilot. and... Disengage. Autopilot. Disengaged. Okay. I don't know why you're disengaging the other pilot. Interesting. Uh, we'll just go be following this yellow line towards the standard docking bay. And we'll tell you to go over here. Now, you can already see there's something lying down here. Pick that up. Very good. I see you have found the device. This will allow me to monitor your activity and perform experiments remotely. Please keep it safe. Oh. Oh my. It seems your pulse is elevated. You must be very excited to take part in this expedition. I'm glad. So, shall we begin? I will attempt to direct you in the best way possible. Please be patient with me. Okay, so it seems that uh, the Taladi are going to be fighting. They just built like six or seven small ships. Now before, of course, we're going to get... Uh, con before we continue, I should say, with the, uh, the mission, uh, we're going towards the... No, oh, not spaceship dealer. Go away. I don't want to go there. Please. I'm completely wrong here. Traders corner. Go there. Uh, we're going to be selling the crystals that we have, because why wouldn't we? Uh, I like to keep on crafting wares. Uh, and other stuff as well. Uh, say like this, the trading wares that are not the crystals, because sometimes you get missions that ask you for 25, 20 of these, and they will pay out quite, quite nicely. This is an okay price. Uh, we'll just sell it. It's 135. Yeah, we could probably get a better price somewhere else, but I just don't care that much. Let's continue. Good profit. Say goodbye. We now have 660,000. Uh, hopefully, let's check the map. My ship is currently going to be docking. So, I'm now very safe to assume the following. We're going to be sending this uh, Sentinel out. And we're going to be sending it... Let's just go over here. Towards um, the next sector, which is, I believe, 18 billion. Now, you'll have to forgive me if I mess up some of the names. Uh, I'm only human. I'm only human. So, yeah. Uh, let's take a look. If, is that is my ship that over there? Or is he actually now coming in? How do you call these things? Damn. Well, well, I'm lost for words. Take that time to actually hit that like if you are enjoying this sort of content. So I at least know that I'm on the right direction. If you also, if you want to see some stuff explained to you or shown to you on how to do it, let me know in the comment section and I will add it to my list. I think that over there is my ship and he is currently scratching Auto the paint. There we go. Vanguard. Get out. Great. I don't know what you were doing, mate. <laughs> Let's undock. Let's undock. Okay. Let's go. At least we have a shield back now. With too many boron before. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Bozo Tar, and it is a pleasure. I do wish it were in person, but my current situation is quite precarious. That's good. Quite curious on what a lonely old boron is trying to achieve. There's still so many things. Uh, wrong one. Questions. Sorry. Our space fly sentient. Where are the lost boron systems? Well, it's getting his rent. Telepathy possible. It is our task to push the physics of this universe 
listen to the breaking point and there see if it answers any of those questions. My current employers only seem happy when my research results in novel weapon modifications. Very curious people, those split. I do hope they move me to a new tank soon. My tentacles grow weak. That is uh, very much a shame uh, to him. I do wonder how my homeworld is faring. It has been such a long time since we have had news of it. Okay, he is going to be very disruptive. He will interrupt my sentences every 30 seconds or so. It is somewhat annoying, but you know, it is what it is. I do want to keep a close eye on our other ship. The reason for it is I don't want him to be destroyed by a Xenon or by anything else that is going to be hostile towards us. So we're going to be pausing every now and then. Apparently, there you go. Uh, he is actually going over there. So yeah, it, this is definitely the area somewhat over there, I think. Uh, unfortunately, it's also an asteroid field. There's another thing that I want to do over here. And... Let's see, the scanning mode. I need long range scanning mode. Because it's possible to find some ships here and there. And I want to be sure that I'm not missing a thing. Uh, let's center back over here. There's nothing. Okay, fine. Good, let's go. We'll just keep flying. Let's uh, go back to our Sentinel. Yeah, there's definitely some fighting going on. What's this? A plunderer. Ah, we've met him. We did. Uh, there is a mammoth. So they're building an advanced electronic factory. Uh, let's pause back. Let's take a look. Where are we currently? We are extremely, extremely close. For the next part of this assignment. You appear to be getting close to where I detected an anomaly. Please try using the long-range scanner to search for an anomaly in this facility. Aha! There it is! Okay, uh, I didn't have to do it. These anomalies are tears, which may lead to other areas of space, much like the jump gates. I suggest you mark the location of the anomaly on your map. No. So, how adventurous do you feel today? Thanks to my research, I do have a fair idea of where you may end up. Of course... The quickest way to confirm my theory is to put it into practice. Alright, we're just going to fly through it. I'm not marking the location. Uh, I don't think that is exchange. helping us at all. Let's scan it quickly around. Can you hear me? It took a moment to realign the frequency. But it's just as I thought. You have made it through the anomaly and emerged in a distant region. Your location is actually of great interest to me. Over the years, I okay. have managed to pull Here sensor we go. logs from passing ships to help further my work. I highlighted this as a prime location for my research, should I ever get the chance. While the previous anomaly is interesting, my findings point to something else here, which I expect will lead to a groundbreaking discovery. Allow me to guide you to a particular area yeah, we'll have to wait until he actually stops talking. Uh, it will be the same when dropping the satellite and the resource probe. Wait until he tells you to actually do it. Also, let me at least get my weapons back. Uh, because this uh, particular system can be invested by um, the Aqua. I don't know how to pronounce them, but they are a, um, a sort of a pest. A hive mind pest that can be so, so destructive to your mining operation. <sighs> so many times I've lost ships to them. That is not even funny. I am currently evaluating what equipment we will need to make the most of this location. Space here is wounded with a scar in his fabric which seems to have healed multiple times. There is no record of any abnormal activity in 
these sites. To everyone else, this is simply an empty area of space. In my search for signals from long lost boron, I have detected multiple scars in space which continue to spew a multitude of particles and radiation. In a bustling sector such as this, it would only be seen as background noise. However, some of the noise seems to have artificial form. We are going to tear this scar wide open and peer inside. Of course, the universe is a fickle thing. One miscalculation, and we may well destroy the whole system. Ha! Such stakes make this all the more exciting. Let me pause over here. So, if you find yourself in a system and you do not know where another gate is, I highly advise you to do the following. These ships, they, um, they fly to A to B and they use a very efficient line. They will give you a very good idea on where this gate is going to be. So fly opposite or follow these ships and you will find gates. Same with this one. Uh, I believe there's actually two gates in here, but uh, we'll see about that in the future. Because I do tend to explore the entire galaxy, if we have time for it, before Kingdom's End. So that is going to continue. We're going to be unpausing so we can start before talking again. Started, allow me to reimburse you for your help so far. More money. I do hope the split don't mind me using their credit account to help fund our venture. Uh, 25,000? Come on, man. Well, we're close to 700,000. You will first need to place a satellite around this area in order for us to better understand its nature and how best to provoke the anomaly. I suggest you also deploy a resource probe so that we can see how the anomaly has affected the local environment. You should be able to acquire these deployable items from stations which offer upgrades. I know of such a station near your location. I will add the information to your map. And so he did. And so he did. So there's probably going to be a station over here. We'll keep an eye on where it is. I know it's in roughly this vicinity. Oh, there it is. There it is. All right, let's continue. So we need to drop down a satellite. Let's go and do the satellite because we actually have them. Ah, good work. I'm receiving a much clearer signal from the tear. Almost immediately, I can see that there are far more gravimetric shears here compared to any other anomaly ever documented. That indicates mass, but of what? This shows some similarities with a jump gate event horizon. But there is something else. Could it be a temporal distortion? Perhaps dimensional? Very interesting. Would you please deploy a resource probe in this specified area? We will. I'm curious of this environment. Okay, so this is just out of your radius. If you dropped a resource probe right away, you would probably have to pick it up again. Which is extremely annoying. So let's boost a few times. And there is the message. Let's wait until we stop moving. If you launch a probe while you move, that probe will exit your ship with the same velocity. You can absolutely have a lot of fun with that. Uh, but it is not ideal for this one. Uh, let's go with a resource probe, like he asked us. Um, Pause him for a second. Let's take a look at our sentinel that is now over here. We can stop this. Remove this order. And tell you to go over there. He now knows how to fly it. I think that is very efficient. Should you wish to extract them. As for our research, it seems that nearby objects are covered in exotic particles. Possibly spewed from the anomaly. I hate to be a bother, but I have an idea on how to proceed. We will need a ship to be flown to a very precise location near the anomaly. If we fit the ship with the right equipment, we may be able to open the tear wider and have a better idea of what is on the other side. There we go. So. This will likely end up in the ship's destruction, so I 
will help cover the expenses of acquiring a new ship for the task. More money. There we go. 200,000. We're now almost at 900,000. And we've been playing for how long? Uh, if I, I have to save to see it. But I'm thinking roughly 45 minutes. Of course, that is not where all of this ends. Definitely. Uh, we now have to... I have calculated that the ship will need to contain a small number of antimatter cells. The nearest station that has this wear available has been revealed for your convenience. Right. Uh, now that is very nice about this. It will actually tell you where you could buy antimatter cells. Now, with the money they gave you, you actually could do it. But if you fly over here and do all of this, then you will have to go... Well, you don't have to physically go towards a port. You can just buy ships uh, like so. Just go right-click, buy ships, and go uh, small-sized, and then go with a courier. They're usually the cheapest. This is a 172, and the other one is... Yeah, there you go. 88,000. And this is the ship that we are using. Now, you will go with a minimum preset... I don't know why they select combat engines. I think they are not necessary for this type of mission. And you... Let's take a look. What else do you don't need? Can't move any of these, so that is absolutely fine. A pilot? Sure. So it will cost you 145,000. Doing it like this. So if you calculate it up there. So that's 958. Uh, so it is roughly one point. 1 million and 20,000 credits. That is all the money we now can spend in a another ship if we uh, actually had the reputation with any of them to deal with it. With that all in mind, I actually no, let's keep on point here. Let's keep on point. Otherwise, I I will actually go over things that we don't have to do right now, what is my relationship currently with the Taladi? Mm, zero. That is not good. <sighs> Let's take a look what we would like. Just, just for the fun of it. We have to wait anyways. Uh, there's no need for us to move. Say we would like to go with a medium. Uh, we would have to have uh, the military license. I hate this frigate. I don't like the gunboat either. Should we ever get to meet face to face? I do hope you can bring me some fresh boat food. The nuggets the split give me are more stale than their humor. <laughs> we need the military ship license for this ship. And this ship actually is quite good. It has a decent amount of hull. It has four weapon slot, two engines, and two shield modules. So, not bad at all. It is also quite nimble. It goes all directions. It is quite an upgrade from what we are flying now. And we would have to make sure that we get into that ship. ASAP. I do not want to go... What is he doing? I do not want to go into split territory, which could be, by now, infested with Xenon... In this ship. This weapon is a joke. I don't like it. Let's look around. Because if we're waiting. We might as well be productive at things. And if we see something blinking. I will go for it. Because that's a crystal. And I still need one for the achievement. Which is the white one. Man I was bummed out. When they decided to nerf the crystals. Before I got the white one. But what can you do? Other than, of course, mod the game. But that, that feels cheating for me. I don't like cheating. I'm okay using... The... Um, the mechanics that we have been given. And hopefully you feel the same as well. Also, I'm extremely blind when it comes to these crystals. Uh, he is f so damn slow. Yeah, asteroid belts and autopilots. Oh, so annoying. 
Now we have the three antimatter cells. Actually, let me check for the uh, for the for the fun of it. Uh, antimatter cells, 40 of them. More than enough. They're worth absolutely nothing. <laughs> they're worth absolutely nothing. So they're going to be giving you some tooltips about you should explore space. Yeah, well, we wait because otherwise we'll have to fly back over here for now. So, yeah. Reputation at least with one faction to level 10. That's because of the military license. Now, while we wait as well, make sure that with every faction you have at least 10 reputation with to get the police license in. Killing hostiles in their space will actually help you quite a bit and you will see us doing that with the xenon in the split territory quite a bit and the reason for it is we need money but we need to keep the split alive in the patriarchy is definitely one to struggle uh let's just go over towards this ship like so uh, let's see, I'm still getting used to the controls here a bit. Now, when he is done, we're going to be telling the pilot to join me on my sure ship. ship there we go. It is far too early in this experiment for needless casualties. Okay, so I'm going to tell you... Awaiting orders. Work somewhere else, and that is going to be the Elite Vanguard, and you're going to be a service crew member. And when he's out, we can actually proceed. Wait, are you not there yet? There we go. To be ready for the initial test. Fly to the following position. Wonderful. We are getting a reaction. Wait, what? The ship is beginning to show strain, but I will continue to push it further. Keep your distance. The tear is expanding. It's about to reach the ship. The antimatter will most likely detonate. <laughs> yeah, the Sentinel was destroyed. But what did we get in return, huh? What did we get? Also, we are actually quite close to this. And uh, this is as close as I have ever been. What is this? Some large artificial structure. So this is what was on the other side of the tear. It does seem that our investigation has led to some potentially groundbreaking discovery. Let's see, where do we need to go? Now, I think it's friend, over here. This is where we must proceed with both haste and caution. While I admit, tearing free space-time with an antimatter explosion was far from restrained, we now have something in front of us of untold scientific value. We would be fools to continue carelessly. For the benefit of the universe, let us hurry and claim our prize before someone can beat us to it. I'll be damned if some passing Taladi junk dealer decides to break it down for spare parts, or worse yet, the Ministry of Finance Science Division. I will begin to interface with the structure remotely. Do you mind flying around it so I can make some additional readings? Let's right. start over here. Thank you. I wasn't sure where we were going to start for a second. I thought it was five, but we were so close to four. Also, we're on the um, the lower bit of it. So let's get back. Over here. Yeah, that makes more sense. These markings are not quite and now we go over there. As I would have expected from such an object. Could this be a top secret installation? Oh my. I do hope we haven't hijacked some distant Terran station. <laughs> The funny thing is the, uh, the antimatter cells that we used that were abundant are actually here on the map. Oh no, that's lodestone. Lodestone is actually quite good to have. It does seem somewhat unfinished. And the materials it is constructed of are quite strange. Even the computer pathways I am navigating are unconventional. Because lodestone is used for the space um, EMP. The space uh, EMP bombs, which you can actually use to get modules if you don't do research. I cannot yet ascertain the function of this asteroid-like mass. 
in regards to the rest of the station. Given these readings, it may well be a power source. How interesting. Wonderful. You see, the station is now under our control. Wait. We have access to much of its systems, although some are so alien, I will need to take the time to investigate them further. Okay, so... There appear to be connection points for additional station modules, and they do seem to conform to our standards. If we wish to physically interface with the station without damaging it, I suggest constructing an area to land. Oh, it appears I must go. My split employers are approaching, and they do sound agitated. I will be in touch when I am able. As I have said, see if you are able to merge their technology with our own by building a dock. Take care, my friend. Autopilot engaged. Okay, so in this point, you will need to build a dock. We will do that. Of course we will do that. But we would need a construction ship as well. Uh, usually what I'll just do is um, we'll just go towards over here. And the second we see it, we pause the game. We build that dock. We hire that particular construction ship for 500,000. So yes, we will still lose some money. And I let the AI just do its thing right now. Because the AI can actually make some maneuvers that... <laughs> you physically just can't do hopefully we'll find a memory right over here uh, they usually are quite near so and i think we already spotted one in this system so yeah entering grand exchange i will do my best to um, cut out the more boring parts the dull parts while we wait uh, but when we start with the patriarch stuff that is when you will see uh, a lot of the fighting because we will be actively fighting the xenon we will be trying to build our reputation with the xenon because currently we are at negative 15 we cannot land anywhere and that is actually a bit of a problem also, I would like to get the that Vanguard ship, or whatever it was, the four weapons, one, two engines, two shield ship, because you could actually be quite an efficient pirate with it. It has, uh, it's, it has one of the largest hulls, and it has a very decent amount of shields, and all of that is calculated into your chances of the poor person you are robbing of a ship. To jump and eject but there is a bit of a mechanic behind of it so yeah we'll go over that when we go over pirating now please i need to find this damn ship there we go delighted construction the albatross we are ready set and able to go let's right click let's build plan and you're just going to be extremely simple with this you are just going to be placing down this dock somewhere press ok uh, hire a builder and we now have the construction. Are you bloody kidding me? There we go ship over here right click select that that is done make sure That you give it all the funds necessary the price at a hundred and this is where I'm going to be wrapping up this episode when we return We will be able to land with this station what I will do in the meantime is I will go over these systems and we are, go we are going to be trying to build our reputation towards the plus 10 so we can jump into a new ship, go towards the Xenon and the split and have some fun over there. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button if you are enjoying this type of content and I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.